Hi, this is Lauren Malhoyt, Technical Marketing Engineer with Cisco, and I'm here with another ACI demo video. For all of you, we're going to concentrate on application profiles in this video. Now, if you're not sure what an application profile is, go back and check the overview on application profiles in this same uh, YouTube channel. So in order to create an application profile, we need to be within a tenant. So I'm going to double click on my tenant here and I see that I get all of this. Um, I have health scores for this tenant, I get faults and all of that great stuff. And over on the left in this tree, I can expand application profiles. I see that I already have a tenant created, but I'm gonna create a new one by right clicking and selecting create application profile. Now the application profile is really just a container for what we talked about, the endpoint groups, the contracts and service graphs. So I'm going to give it a name and the name is going to be WordPress because maybe I'm creating a WordPress application which has some uh, web servers, some database servers, etc. I'll click Submit and now I have my WordPress application profile. I'll click on that and you can see I can create EPGs from the right click menu or I get this neat drag and drop canvas over here on the right and I can just drag and drop a new EPG down here. Now we said we'd have some web servers, so I'm going to create a web EPG. I can give it a tag. Tags come into play when we create contracts and they allow us to either uh, allow or deny traffic basically. I can specify quality of service. I can turn on intra-EPG isolation, which we'll talk about in a future demo. Um, one thing I do have to specify here is the bridge domain. I've already got some bridge domains created. I'll use that, um, but I could also create a bridge domain from this menu. And I could select a monitoring policy for things like notifications and alerts that I would have already created in my admin tab. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I have my web EPG. Now I'm just going to quickly create a database EPG. and select a bridge domain and click OK. I could have put these in the same bridge domain. They may need to be in separate bridge domains if I want to put, let's say, a firewall in between. Uh, there are different design scenarios there. But this is just the basics of how to create an application profile. So now I want to drag and drop a contract between these two. Now remember, ACI is a whitelist model, meaning no endpoint in my web EPG can talk to an endpoint in my database EPG by default. I have to create a contract to allow that. So I have my consumer EPG, my provider EPG. Um, right now it's bi-directional by default. I can create a new contract or choose an existing contract, meaning um, if I've already created a contract for two other EPGs that I just want to reuse or if I have some generic contracts like web or like common services, DHCP, DNS that I want to use here, then I can just choose that existing contract. But right now let's see how to just create a new contract. So I'll call this web and the no filter allow all traffic really means it's kind of like an any any rule. We're going to allow everything. So I'm going to uncheck that and actually specify what I would like to allow. So I'll click the plus sign and give it a name. This is the subject. I can have multiple subjects within a contract. So I can have HTTP, I can have HTTPS, ICMP, SSH, etc, etc. For the ether type, I'm going to select IP. For the IP protocol, I'm going to select TCP. And then in the destination, I'm going to select HTTP. Now, if the port I wanted to allow wasn't listed in there, I can go ahead and just type it in. That's OK, too. So we can do custom port ranges. Now I'll just click Update. I have my contract created. I could specify a service graph, but I'm not going to do that today. I'll do that in a future video. And then click OK. Now remember to click Submit here. That's very important, or else when you navigate away from the screen and you come back, 
your application profile will be a blank slate again. So make sure it looks all clean and nice. That means you've clicked submit and you're all set to go. And now I have an application uh, profile for my WordPress application. I have a web EPG and a database EPG and a contract between them that allows HTTP. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.